Oh, 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 fish on, fish on. Holy cow, that's a good one. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another beautiful day here along the Florida Gulf Coast. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm in Destin, Florida this week on a little mini vacation. If you didn't see my last Destin video, I took the GoPro off the beach and I saw quite a few fish swimming up and down the beach. So I said, got to go beach fishing. Driving a pretty good ways from the condo to find some public beach access spots and that's one of the secrets to having a good fishing day is find a beach access spot that has no condo around it because it's a little more secluded less people around and so uh, we are rigged for anything and everything today and I am super excited to see what we can catch. Beautiful sunrise coming up this morning. It looks mighty good out here. I think this is gonna be as good a place as any to set up right here, so let's get to fishing. First thing I'm gonna do, folks, is try and catch some sand fleas in the surf because we need some bait. All right, got some. This is a perfect size little sand flea right here. Good bait for anything out there on the beach. On this first rod, we are tossing out a, a sand flea and also a little piece of sand flea flavored fish bites on the tip of that sand flea. This works good for anything and everything out here. <sighs> I'm also gonna to toss out a little rod and I'm gonna put it right here in the surf because the little rods always get hit. <laughs> At least that is my experience. While our rods are out, let's chunk the spoon and see if we can get either a good fish or some bait. Oh guys, I think our small rod's on down here. Let's go see. Oh yeah, oh, 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 this is a big one, dude. Oh my gosh, big old fish. Uh, small rod got hit immediately, and this dude is, oh my gosh, there's a dolphin trying to eat it. Holy cow, it's a pompano, I think. What is it? No, it's a big old lady. <laughs> Perfect. I got some cut bait. First fish of the day, big lady fish, and this is a great fish to cut up, use for bait. They're also fun to catch. Let's put a big uh, lady fish out and see what happens. All right, y'all, big hunk of lady fish going out right here. See if there's anything big swimming around. <sighs> get the uh, short rod back out, because it is the only one to get hit so far. We're locked and loaded here. Little rod immediately got smoked again, guys. We're on. We're on. <laughs> I mean, it's staying out there for two seconds. Dang, feels like a decent fish. Maybe it's another lady. Heavy fish right here. It hadn't jumped. Come on, buddy, what, you, what are we working with here? It's a decent fish, whatever it is. Oh yeah, real good freaking fish, man. Golly, it's a pompano. No way. Nice pompano, holy cow. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, right here next to this beach, guys, on the little rod, it never fails. Heck yeah. Real nice pompano. Get on up here, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, we got dinner. Real nice keeper pompano right here on the little rod. Heck of a fight. That is a great way to start the morning. Oh, 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 my other rod's off. My other rod's got one. Holy cow. 
Holy cow. I think he came off. Oh well. So let's go ahead and get the little rod back out. I'm just pitching it. Maybe 20 foot from shore. Something like that. Not far at all. There we go. A few fish busting the surface out here. I don't know if I can reach them though. Uh, it's going to be close. I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, God, dog, oh, dude, he just smoked it. I got a two ounce jig. I like the two ounce on the beach because you can throw it a very long ways. All right. You, and a lot of times you're going to need to do that. Oh, 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 fish on, fish on. Holy cow. That's a good one. Yep. Fish on, fish on. Come here, buddy. This is a pretty heavy fish right here, y'all. Pretty dang hit good fish. What are we working with? Oh, another pop. Another pop. Heck yeah, baby. Come on up here. Come on up here, darling. Look at there, guys. Another nice pompano. On the little rod. Woo, come here, come here. He's trying to get on out of here. No, sir. No, sir. Another keeper pompano right here, guys. I, I'm only going to keep one. That's all I want. So we're going to let this guy go. Wait, go, 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 go. Woo, there he goes. <laughs> what a way to start the morning. We have got a four rod spread going. We've got a little rod right here with sand flea. We've got a big cut bait right there for a shark or a redfish. We've got our pompano rod out there with sand flea fish bites. And then on the very end, we've got a really tiny uh, ultralight right in the surf with six pound test in case these fish are super finicky. Oh, guys, our little rod just went completely slack right here. Hold on. Got him, got him. There's a fish, there's a fish. Feels like a pretty decent one too. Oh yeah, nice whiting. Check this out. Heck yeah. That's a nice one. Definite keeper fish. I may throw him in there with my pompano. It doesn't get much nicer of a day than this right here. Look at this emerald green water. Oh, guys, we got one. We got one on the small rod right here. He just slammed it. Yeah. Oh, I ah, came off, dude. Dang. No, he's back on. He's on. He's on. He's on. We got someone nailed the small rod. Oh yeah, this is a good fish too. That was on the sand flea. Man, those sand fleas are, are getting it done today, dude. Another nice whiting, guys. Check this out. That is why you always put a small rod in the surf right here, and that's a fine one. Oh yeah. Dude, what a whiting. Guys, this is Tony. He has a channel. He's a content creator in my area. I'll link his information below. They are one of the best tasting fish out here, so don't sleep on these guys if you see them in the surf. That's why it's important to keep the small rods, the mini rods out, because they have such light line that on a day where it's super clear, they may entice a bite, which that one just did. This little rod just got popped down here. There he is. He's running down the beach, y'all. He's running down the beach. There he is. That's another decent one. Heck yeah. Oh, this may be a pomp, guys. This is a nice fish here. Come here, buddy. Look what a nice whiting right here, y'all. Heck yeah. Another good one. The bite has kind of slowed down, and I want to find out why. So we've got the Go Fish Cam right here tied on to our pompano rig. And we're gonna chunk this out and see, get some underwater footage, see how those fish are reacting. So the very first thing we see right here is a school of bluefish, and they are not interested. We have shrimp on our hooks, <laughs> and these guys just didn't want any part in it. And there's a nice pompano swimming by right there. 
obviously not interested in another nice pompano and as i said the bite had really shut down and so as you see these fish just aren't hungry at all or they, at least they don't want what we have to offer there's a ladyfish coming into frame and even the ladyfish isn't hungry which is very unusual because <laughs> If you know anything about ladyfish, they tend to eat anything and everything. Here's a hardtail. That's a big blue runner, aka hardtail. And he is he he seems sem semi interested, <laughs> but he's not he's not taking the bait. So and look at the pompano on the right hand side of the screen. Nice pompano. Yeah, that hardtail is like, nah, I'm good. Now check this out. Coming into frame, top right corner of your screen, watch closely. You'll see two big tarpon. How cool is that? And those are nice ones. <laughs> the Silver King. That is really cool to catch on camera. Big old tarpon. <clears throat> and there's a cigar minna. Lots of cigar minnas swimming around. Another pesky hardtail. Not interested. Just wanting to play with this food. When a fish won't take a shrimp, you know that they're not really in a feeding mode. <laughs> <clears throat> Some more ladyfish. It's really cool to see how these fish react underwater. And this is just a standard pompano rig that we're using right here. And, you know, this is a very popular rig. It's what most people use on the beach. So, look at all these hardtails. And school of hardtails and can't even get a bite. Here's a needlefish. And then here comes a school of pompano. Nice school of pompano swimming right by. Not interested. You know, sometimes they're just not interested. So folks, that turned into a pretty eventful morning out here. I'm gonna show you a little clip of our condo that we're staying in after I do my outro in case you want to book the same experience. It is an Airbnb right on the beach. Before I do that, guys, if you like this video, please shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with is linked in my description below. I'm a licensed realtor along the coast here, so if you're looking to buy or sell a house, hit me up. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next time. This is our condo for the next week. As I mentioned, uh, my subscriber, Seth, was nice enough to give us this beautiful condo right here on the beach. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me show you. Right here on the beach in Dustin, Florida. And this condo is called the Beach House. I will link all of that in my description below in case you want to come stay here. If you didn't see my last Dustin video, go check it out. It's linked in my description below. Uh, but I just wanted you to show you this is a two bedroom, two bath condo with a really nice kitchen, granite countertops, full functioning kitchen, which is great uh, for me and Melanie because we like to cook at the house. And so big thumbs up to Seth for uh, hooking us up for the week. Again, I will link all of his information below in case you want to book this condo for yourself.